Now, I'm running a little bit late because I stopped getting an ice cream sundae with jam, and you know how that is. It takes her forever just to finish the banana, which doesn't bother me one bit. I actually prefer it. But, uh, now then, of course, she gets cream all over her face, so we get her cleaned up, but then she wants me to have her cherry. I mean, she likes cherries too, but I think she prefers to watch me enjoy them. And she doesn't want me to just bite it, you know, she wants me to suck on it. And so before you knew it, there wasn't even time for her to eat my nuts, because she really loves nuts, so I'm kind enough to give her mine. But then we had to race all the way here, so the whole thing was just one big mess. By the way, it's great having you back. The show really sucked last week without you, and it even sort of made me appreciate you and all the hard work you do around here. Wait, are we on the air now? God damn it! You and I are so enemies again, jackass! Hey, this is Mr. Grape with the Grape Kool Aid Experience, and you are listening to the Rainbow Family Podcast, Episode 8. Somehow, we've made it close to the second month anniversary of this fine program, and so in honor of meaningless accomplishments that literally anyone else could have done, tonight we're turning our backs on what got us here, and we're playing nothing but brand new artists. Therefore, MSI, fuck off. Electric Dragon, eat a dick. Daiquiri, hit the road, because tonight, it's all about the new blood. Don't get me wrong, we still love MSI, Electric Dragon, and Major Group Daiquiri, and I would have each and every one of their babies, but this week, we need to take a break from them in order to keep them fresh and special, like a double-jointed 13-year-old stripper. What, too far? Well, with that out of the way, let's kickstart the show with a group many of you already know and love, yet who have never been played here on the show before. So up first, let's check out the Scare Bearers with the song Rubber Lover, right here on the Rainbow Family Podcast.
Well, there you have it. You'll always be his number one motherfucker. I don't know if that actually involves fucking his mother or not, but I'm sure it's pretty badical nonetheless. By the way, I know it's a little early, but if anyone out there is looking for a good Valentine's Day song, please allow me to suggest that one, as I don't know of anything more romantic than what I'm assuming are some sort of freaky incestuous bondage games. Ah, <sighs> young love, isn't it special? Well, if you need the song to play for your date, you can download it by hitting up myspace.com slash scarebears, but I don't think we can waste any more time tonight. For the past few weeks, I've been asking the vagina equipped members of our fanbase, with the breastuses, to go out there, download a beat machine, hook up some keyboards, record a few demos, and then send them into the show. Well, so far, that hasn't happened yet. Now, I know females are fully capable of playing music, and I'm fairly certain some of you have some talent outside of amateur porn, and I'm going to prove it, because up next, we've got one funky-ass catchy tune, as here we've got Hella Nervous by Gravy Train. So come on, ladies, it's time to school all the penises by rocking their cocks off, so enjoy this next track, but remember, this could be you. Shit is catchier than AIDS at one of my broken glass, junky sex in the ass without a rubber parties. Which, if you've never been, then book now because those things fill up fast. If you like that, just hit up myspace.com slash gravy train band or myspace.com slash gravy train music. But wait, what's that? Did I just hear someone yell remix? Well, okay then. Hello, 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 hello,
Okay, I can't lie, that wasn't anywhere as cool as the original. As a matter of fact, that was just one huge waste of time, and I sat there punching myself in the head the entire time, trying to delete the suck from my brain. You know what doesn't suck though? God. And this next song is all about God, as well as a very special item he owns. So sit back, remove the gun from your temple, and enjoy a band we should have played 27 episodes ago, as here now is Bubblegum Octopus with God's Pink Laser. Praise Jesus! Want to hear a funny story? I actually lost my virginity while that song was playing. Now, before you think I'm going to say anything really personal, or even anything really weird, creepy or gross, it's not like that at all. Basically, I was at my friend's house, we were fixing his bike, and I had just taken the seat off, when somebody hit play on the boombox, Bubblegum Octopus came blasting on, I got startled, fell backwards, landed backside first on the missing seat, and let's just say, I became a man that day. It was a beautiful time in my life, and I'll never forget it. If you would like to experience that sort of magic, please hit up myspace.com slash bubblegumoctopus, and I find the band really likes to hear important stories like the one I just told that involved their music. So, if you get lucky with a really sexy 12-speed, be sure to drop them a line and tell them all about it. Speaking of fun sex, here's a band countless people have requested since episode 1, so here now, 8 weeks later, is Why I Love My Priest by Zombies Ate My Nation on the Rainbow Family Podcast. He touched me here! He touched me there! When I was small! When I was small! In the church and after school When I was small, when I was small When I was small, we had a ball When I was small, when I was small In the church and after school When I was small, when I was small
Well, I now see why people wanted them played so badly. Clearly, we have a lot of Christian fans out there just trying to represent their faith, and hey, what's not to love and respect about that? I remember my priest used to really love me as well, as he'd hug me and squeeze me and sometimes he'd tickle me and pinch me or hide things under his robe. Those were just some really fun, innocent times. <sighs> so, if you'd like to feel closer to God, then hit up myspace.com slash Z8MyN and keep those requests coming in because it's great to have some nice spiritual music on the show for a change. Well, let's get off religion for a second and let's talk about love. Ah yes, love is such a special thing, and much like the Scare Bears taught us that love could be rough and nasty, I think this next artist proves that while you may always miss your past lover, love can be fresh and new like a box of blueberry muffins straight out of the oven. Of course one of them has a razor blade or hypodermic needle stuck inside, waiting for you to carelessly bite in, thus infecting you or tearing your precious mouth to shreds, but that's neither here nor there. I recently stumbled upon this artist by accident, and really enjoyed his unique brand of electro rock, so here now is Elmo Sex Whistle with his amazing song Other, right here on the Rainbow Family Podcast. Enjoy.
right. I was just playing with a piece of string and I seem to have tied myself to the desk. Therefore, we're gonna take a quick commercial break, I'm gonna get myself free, but when we come back, we're gonna have this show's first ever triple shot, so stay tuned. Look, this isn't funny, just fucking untie me already, okay? Yeah, so I tied myself to the desk, who hasn't been there before? Now just play the fucking song and come help me. God, I wish you would have never come back. Can I take your order, please? Okay, we definitely need to get better advertisers on this show. I mean, what the hell was that? Seriously. No, really, I'm not even joking. Who on earth would ever want us to play that, huh? Well anyways, I should ignore those stupid pricks, because up next, we've got this show's first ever triple shot lined up. Now keep in mind, tonight is all about new blood, tonight is all about playing artists we've never played before, but then again, Everything in life has a catch to it, and believe me you, I definitely found one hell of a loophole. You may have heard this next person guest appearing on tracks with Squirrel Army, as well as Vincent Flaw, and you may have heard one of his side project tracks with We Are The Scene, but for the first time ever, we're gonna be hitting you with three straight doses of Richie from Switchy without all the special guest appearances. Richie doesn't need to take a backseat to anyone, unless he's in there with your mom, so here now is Famous, So Seen, and The One That Made Me Gay by Switch to the E on The Rainbow Family, motherfucker. It was just me and my gay boy, now we're famous, and all the little kids, they swear they made us, and everybody's getting a little bit jealous, but no, we're gonna look at figure out a sad boy, it took a little more to be a whore, on the mindless self-indulgence board. 
anymore Cause I ain't really going anywhere And those kids are the only kids who ever care And it's so sad cause we're so bad It's all these fans won't understand They whine and cuss and just because Jimmy couldn't even help us I'll get down to the world, we'll fake it Believe this hype until we can make it To the shit down and nothing can take You get them high on crank and a little bit naked And maybe then everybody will love me Put out a little record so they could rub me You know I should have been a cow It's another excuse to get up on me Let's go. Did I ever tell you what Switchy meant? A little fucking speak who can't pay rent. Cross the border with 15 cents. Bitch's little bag of tricks is spent. All these bitches thinking they're complex. Mashing buttons and guitar frets. Faking beats just to cop some sex. Rule, everybody place a bets. While you were starting out, I already won the race. I'll teach you a lesson in 8-bit taste. And just to make sure, just in case, I'll bash that eczema out of your face. You Richie, you can't afford it. If you mess up once more, you'll get deported. I didn't say that, the fucking court did. I'm not American, I'm color assorted. All you little bitches in the scene wanna fight off a tiny little bit of me. But I was here first and until the end. And now you wanna be my little rock star friend. You call your shit Electro Rock. Great fucking bit, but we know it's not. Don't bother with the record cause it's gonna flop. Yo, when's my name gonna start to drop? 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 Cause I'm so seen and we know you're not. With the confetti holding onto your teddy, I'm rhyming steady with the cut of a machete. Little bitches call me the environmentalist, cause I recycle every rhyme on my little rhyme list. I reuse this, I rehash that, it's like I'm a self propelling copycat. But if you don't like me, it's jealousy, cause there's no fucking way that I'm not seen. Get it straight, get it right, get it in your heads, I'm fucking hype. All you little bitches in the scene wanna buy it off a tiny little bit of me. But I was here first and until the end, and now you wanna be my little rock star friend. You call your shit Electro Rock, great fucking bit, but we know it's not. Don't bother with the record, cause it's Always making me so tardy I could get it up If only you were good enough If only you were smooth enough If only you were hot enough But this bitch sucked my cock In such a way that made me wish I was gay She's the one She's the one The one The one She's the one that made me And her doesn't wash her clothes And doesn't take baths She loves sitting back and chewing on her Casey's the one with a stupid little face So fucking dumb she probably drank me While she was still a baby And this is just a man some of Dirty Anna's rabies Thought that they could fuck me with a shitty little song Is it any wonder that they couldn't even turn me on? Oh, she's the one She's the one The one The one She's the one that made me gay Damn, that shit was bananas B-A-N-A-Y- -A -A Oh, okay, never mind all that But wow, what a historic event right here On our almost two month anniversary why, it seems like only yesterday that I was playing bands and telling jokes and acting stupid and telling you to hit up myspace.com slash switchy or even throwing through those five minute comedy breaks. Remember those things? Yeah, those were the days. Ah, what the hell. What do you say we throw to one now just for old time's sake? Yep, just hit play on whatever you've got. I snorted cocaine for about 15 years with my dumb ass. I must have snorted up Peru. <laughs> I could have bought Peru all the shit I snorted. Could have just gave him the money up front and had me a piece of property. <laughs> I started off snorting little tiny pinches. Said, I know I ain't gonna get hooked. I don't know coke, you can't get hooked. My friends have been snorting 15 years, they ain't hooked. <laughs> I started snorting little teeny, didn't even make noise. Coke etiquette, Jack. Pass the album, please. No more for me. Six months later.
<laughs> Licking the album shit. <laughs> Trying to get a freeze. <laughs> Somebody told me you put it on your dick, you could fuck all night. Right? Shouldn't have told me that. <laughs> My dick had a Jones. <laughs> $600 a day just to get my dick hard. <laughs> and you get weird sexual fantasies too when you be on go. Just think of some weird, baby, I got a great idea. I want you to go out on the roof. I'm gonna run around the house three times. On the third time, I want you to jump off on my face. Got a witness. <laughs> Them niggas point at each other. <laughs> niggas will not admit to giving up no head. <laughs> not yet, even. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, nah. Not the kid. Uh uh-uh, uh, no. Nah. Nah, I ain't no termite. Mm mm. No. Be lying their ass off. Right? And black women like head, but they won't kiss you afterward. Right? Be, no, 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 it's bad for your teeth. No, no. It's better to give than receive. Right? And dudes be trying to talk a lot of shit on cocaine too, right? Be thinking they making plenty of sense. Don't be saying shit. I be, uh, shit, I Nixon shit, man, my shit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And the pimps get psychotic when they get high. <laughs> Them motherfuckers get all the moves together, right? Shit, I'm not in it. I got a little girl, you know what I mean? I'm not. Uh, now the men scream on me and say, I'm not a man, you know? I got five hundred, you know? I'm not the man, I got a man, you know? I'm not a man on the line, you know? I'm on the, over in the gun, yeah? No, 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 I'm gonna hold the mess. I ain't holding the motherfucking man. You know what I'm gonna do? Huh? Ha 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 ha. You know, huh? Yeah. I'm ready for Freddy. You know what I mean? And now, niggas be holding them dicks too, Jack. <laughs> White people go, why do you guys hold your things? <laughs> so you done took everything else, motherfucker. <laughs> Nigga be checking. <laughs> you can't tell nobody not to snort no coke, cause motherfuckers gonna snort anyway. It took me a long time to learn that shit. Kill you. Man, but a big booger came out my nose, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Motherfucking black one this long. I said, God damn, Lord, please, I'll quit, please. Just, just let it stop. <laughs> what can I say? That was hilarious. Wow. Can you already believe that half the show is finished? Tonight is just flying by like Superman on speed. But, I'm in a good mood, all I taste is cherry from earlier this evening, we raised the roof for Jesus, and now I'd like to play something that I've been obsessed with since last week. As you should all know by now, all the cool kids are on Last.fm, www.last.fm. And well, I have no shame in telling you that obviously I'm a pretty popular guy and I have all the big name celebrity musicians on my friends list. So I was scoping out some stuff when I came across a band the lead singer of White Guys Jumping has been rocking lately and I knew straight away that I had to play them on the show. Therefore, format be damned because here now are Foxy Shazam with French Passion Animality Opera right here on the Rainbow Family Podcast the only internet-related anything not to feature midgets fisting donkeys. Yet. Enjoy. The concentrated guys who gave your lives I've never moved to this deep and true myself I'm pretty sure that I'm only doing it again I could be Traded guys, you your lives. I'm never looking to escape. 
Mother of Booyah, that just rocked me in ways I've only read about in Cat Fancy Magazine. I, I mean, yeah, that was one pretty crazy ass song. Of course, you can hit up myspace.com slash Foxy Shazam. And come on, with a name like Foxy Shazam, who doesn't want to check them out? Well, up next on the show is something special. You may have heard this next artist with his band Ultracutes before, but here we have the sexy sassy electro goddess with his side project Eat Babies and their song Hit Single. Now clearly the name says it all, but the fact that we're about to play their super smash hit single that went double platinum in Germany isn't what makes it so special. What makes it so special is that we're about to debut our first in a new series of artist intros. That's right. So if you're in an 8-bit or electropunk band, or if we've played you on this show, please send in a brief intro with your name, band name, and something retardedly entertaining, or it's not making air. Either way, here now is Eat Babies with hit single, and I'll let David tell you what show you're listening to. Strap a bleeding poodle to your head, because you're listening to the Rainbow Family Podcast. Skyscrapers, they get lonely It's true, I can hear the Pope screaming Oh please, boo me I have elevator man for friends Everyone wonders why I'm not dead yet. Here's why. Punk rock. God rock. Death metal. Tom Jones burning down the new philosophy. I am the new punk choreographer. I can hear your favorite radio station laughing at me Even Rupert Murdoch won't steal my CDs Voices are red and life is meaningless But in a couple of years you'll pay to eat my shit But for now I only have elevators for friends I'm repeating myself, but let's just play pretend Here we go Move, bitch, um, get out the way Move, bitch, go away Move, bitch, get out the way Uh, move, bitch, get out the way Throw down the new philosophy I am the new metal choreographer I can hear your favorite radio stations laughing at me Even Rupert Murdoch won't steal my CD Well, there you have it. Hit single by Eat Babies. 
Here, however, is my favorite part of the show, because not since telling you people to hit up myspace.com slash the ripoff suck my ass have I had more pleasure in telling you where to go. Therefore, if you like what you just heard, then please hit up myspace.com slash tranny scat porn. Oh yeah, you heard that right, myspace.com slash tranny scat porn for all your demented electro needs. Also, if you hit up myspace.com slash the Rainbow Family Podcast, please swing by the photo gallery, see some new awesome artwork that he provided for the show. You'll also notice I finally added an audio archive. I threw up a few great Kool Aid Experience songs for anyone interested. And by the way, please feel free to take our new web poll that just went up. This week we're asking, who would you bang? And your choices are, Leak Geek Beat, Avenue D, Button Masher, Major Group Daiquiri, Electric Dragon, Little Bunny Fuck You, Mindless Self Indulgence, Peaches, Sex Copter Roll, and Ultra Cutes. Chances are, we'll have the results next week here on the show, so get to voting and make your voice and crotch heard. Anyways, we need to keep this party jumping, so here now are a band that scare me and a band that little Jimmy Urine might want to take out a restraining order on, as up next we've got Urine by High Fructose Corn Syrup, and all I could say is wow, just wow. To be just like Jim, me Aaron. I want to be just like Jim, me Aaron. I want to be just like Jim, me Aaron. I want to be just like Jim, me Aaron. Hey, for it, this got so catchy. It's complex, and my buttons are mashed. It's been about six years, and pregnant was sexy. I got to play remixes before you left me. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm going home. But it's just that they found me somewhere else. Want to be just like Jim, me Aaron. I want to be just like Jim, me Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Want to be just like Jim, me Aaron. I want to be just like Jim, me Aaron. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. Well, there's not really too much you could say after that. I mean, clearly the man just wants to be like little Jim Aaron. But if you hit up MySpace dot com slash hfcs they've got a free album up for download their page looks very pretty and you'll want to jump on board now because after they go crazy and kill jimmy for not returning any of their phone calls everyone's gonna want a piece of them and then it'll be too late okay i'm being told now that one of our staff members was doing a keg stand in the break room and apparently they had replaced the alcohol with battery acid and he's now flopping around on the floor with a hole in his neck. So we need to head to a quick commercial break, as the paramedics are called, but when we come back, we're gonna rock this mother out, so stay tuned. Drinking battery acid rules. I found the candy, it's such a pretty sight. It makes the food taste dandy, but my tummy hurts all night. Put in some ingredients, but keep the rest for me. I'm not just disobedient. I'm careful, can't you see? It's a piece of cake to make a pretty cake. If the way is hazy, you gotta do the cooking by the book. You know you can't be lazy. Never use a messy recipe. The cake will end up crazy. If you do the cooking by the book, then you Making food is just like science With tools that blend and paste And every fun appliance Gives the food a different taste It's a piece of cake and make a pretty cake If the way is hazy You gotta do the cooking by the book You know you can't be lazy Never use a messy recipe The cake will end up crazy If you do the cooking by the book
the cooking by the book. Okay, and we're back. What's with all the food commercials on the show, though? I mean, you'd figure we'd get some music ads, or some video game commercials, or at least something halfway relevant to us here on the show. Where's the PS3 commercials? Doesn't Sony realize what they're missing out on? We've literally got a fan base of millions worldwide, and the best we can get are commercials for fast food and cookbooks. Oh well. We're finally down to our last few songs of the evening, and I'm in an upbeat, up-tempo type of mood, so to reflect that, here now are You Say Party, We Say Die, with The Gap Between the Rich and the Poor, right here on Cooking with Mr. Grape. Enjoy! Good times, good times. You know, outside of the stalkers, the perverts, and the guy with the hole in his neck, I'm having a really good time here tonight. So what do you say, we kick in the disco, kick in the funk, and really boogie down. You're probably all tired of listening to me talk by now anyhow, so let's just go to Let's Make Love and Listen to Death From Above by CSS on the Rainbow Family Podcast. And if anyone would like to bring over some Death From Above 1979 and get it on, you know where to find me. Show your mad love. You came to tell it's not enough. Come and raise me and take me. 
Yeah, that was awesome. It almost makes me wish we could start broadcasting out of a discotheque each week. Man, we're already at our last song of the evening, but what better way to end the show than by playing some Death From Above 1979. I'd like to dedicate this song to XS9 over at the SV, as once again we do honor our requests when we receive them. So without further ado, let's pay tribute to an amazing Canadian band that is sadly no longer together. Here now is Blood on Our Hands by Death From Above, 1979. <laughs> Don't you know, there was blood on all the shoes you wore From the people you were 
Well, that is our show. I'd like to give shout-outs to Nate, David, Nam, Tiffany, Jem, and Caden. I'd like to say thanks to everyone listening. I'd like to say thanks to everyone masturbating. I want to say what up to Jesus. I want to say what up to the guy with the hole in his neck who drank battery acid, because that was pretty funny, although he owes us a new carpet. I want everyone to hit us up on MySpace and LiveJournal, and especially Last.fm, and I'll leave you tonight with the greatest song ever recorded. See you all next week. Peace! Macaron, yeah, macaron, no, chagaron, 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 chagaron. Take a look at the mirror and a look in the mirror.